Brewtube, DJ here, and... Johnny! Me with a strained voice. Me with a happy face. I'm happy. My voice is fucked up, but I like that last beer, so... We're going to hopefully top it. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. We've got That's some... That's blasphemy. That's blasphemy. That's right. Blasphemy. Something couldn't be better than a barrel-aged out, but how about a barrel-aged quad? Woo! From Weyerbacher up in Easton, Pennsylvania, U.S. of A., and we've got their Blasphemy Quad that's aged in, is it whiskey barrels? Uh, when I had this fresh, it was a bit boozy and needed cellaring. Okay. Oh, hey. That was my tasting notes from before. Bottle condition, first version was not. Yeah. Bourbon barrel aged. Okay, bourbon barrel <laughs> aged. Bourbon barrel aged quad. This is bottle condition. The original version, which is what I had, was boozy, and it wasn't bottle conditioned. This is supposed to be improvement. This is a 2012. It's nearly a year old. I think it's probably like 10 months, 11 months old, somewhere around there. Got 11.8% ABV and a 28 IBU. Our buddies over at Rate Beer gave it a 96. Not going to be a top beer. I, You know, what did we have last? It was like a 99. Beer Advocate. Are you ready? 88. Pop goes Ooh, the weasel. Nice pop. Ooh, Dude, nice. that smells good. Okay, I'm going to try not to break these glasses. These chalices I've had bad luck with. Oh, that's nice. Looks like a whiskey. <laughs> it's, it sounds really cool coming out of the bottle, too. It's like glug, glug. Wow. Kind of how it goes down my belly. Exactly. Glug, it's fi glug. fizzy effervescent. Sort of a... Oh, yeah. A whole bunch of bubbles at the bottom of this glass. River water brown, that typical quad color. And they're not floating to the top. They're just kind of hanging. Now, Weyerbacher's Quad has a, an original name. It's called Quad. So, mm -hmm. Blasphemy is kind of a, an extension. I guess they're saying it's Blasphemy. A nice Weyerbacher cork. I guess they're saying it's Blasphemy to put a quad into a bourbon barrel. So, um... It's fairly clear, a little bit cloudy. You can't see all the way through it. It's a amber, really dark amber reddish color. Um, the head has dissipated really quickly and just got a nice bubble foam across the top. Plenty of alcohol legs and nice looking beer. Take a look at it. Let's get a nose. Mm, dark fruits. Definitely a yeah. bourbon, booze. Belgian, definitely a quad. Spiciness. You can smell some candy sugar. It's interesting. It's like, like, um, hmm. It's like dark fruits that have been dipped into bourbon or some kind of like whiskey booze. Is the aroma I'm getting? Damn, I'm diving in. Salute. Oh, his dog eats toys. Wow. Damn, that's good. Wow. I mean, I tasted, or smelled the the candy sugar, very heavy candy sugar on that. And the fruit taste that comes from this is really top notch. I mean it, wow. it's it's got that sh sweet sugary fruity taste um you know the yeast strain is the difference here, you yeah. know a westie's going to blow you away. This is this is decent. I mean uh, this is this is really tasty. Yeah. It's like <clears throat> this in your typical quad that if you're no. looking for that leave it's, these bottles for us to drink it's got the smoothness after it, it it's like eating a candy mm -hmm. it's it's like a chocolate covered cherry but you know those ones that you get that have liquor on the inside like real booze man the the dark fruits and raisins are amplified by that bourbon i'm not getting really char or anything but i'm no. getting a shitload of vanilla like a like big vanilla out of that bourbon there's something that, that could be vanilla yeah wow this is, this is a complex beer. It is. That's why I'm trying to <laughs> figure it out. This is the kind of one, the kind of beer you kind of sort of have to chew through. The regular quad's pretty good, and this is way Whoa. better than the last version I had. 
The carbonation spot on. It's a medium full mouthfeel. Not a not blow you away, but it still has enough carbonation in it that when you drink it, it cleanses your palate. And I sound like stir fried shit tonight. Okay, I've never had stir fried shit to. Trust me. I mean, it, it's it's not a not a hoppy beer. It's a nice. It's not a yeasty beer. It's got good flavor. Uh, the bourbon barrel age definitely adds something to it. Different in some ways than the stout on this one, at least. You know, we just did a bourbon barrel aged stout or a whiskey barrel aged stout. You could taste different charness in this. You're not tasting that in here. It actually just smooths everything out, kind of puts it all together in a nice little package. The sugars, the the fruits, I mean, it's it's really wild. And at 11.8% ABV. It's good. This is a dangerous ass beer. Woo, get the fire department. <laughs> Woo. You could, you could drink this glass down and not notice it, and you'd be crunked. Hey, should I? Here, let me no, try. no, 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 bad, bad. We we have to control the stunt drinker at times, because if not, he may just drink your beer. You have to remember that if you have a stunt drinker in your life. Hey, do you have any coffee? Could you go up and get me some coffee? No, because I know if I go get coffee, my beer won't be here, and this bottle will be empty, ready to fill said coffee cup with booze and coffee. I wonder if this beer makes my coffee cold too. <laughs> Probably will. This, this, this is, and this is room temperature. This is the right temperature to drink. I, I mean, this wasn't refrigerator. We had it in the cellar here. It's like what, sixty down here, sixty-five? I would say less than that. Well, yeah, probably sixty. I mean, like it's 60. like ninety freaking degrees out today in this ball moron area of town, and it's you know eleven o'clock at night, something like that. But it's it's nice down here. Perfect temperature, not too warm, not too cold. Yep, definitely suggest this. This beer would go awesome with like cheese or like a strong cheesecake that's not like a cut in the corners kind of cheesecake. And let's get some figs so sliced with it, maybe a little bit of summer mm -hmm. sausage. There you go. But I mean, no, really, no. This, this beer would go really well with food, but the dangerous part is the alcohol is really fucking hidden in this beer, and we're not drinking this cold either. You know, we're talking like 60 degrees we're drinking this beer, and it goes down really fucking easy. You could get in big-ass trouble with a couple bottles of this. A couple of bottles? <laughs> Just give me one. <laughs> but you can tell we're kind of geeking out on this. What do the other guys think, Johnny? Oh, I think I went over this already. There. Oh, uh, right remember. Beer. Yeah, damn, you're starting to sound like the stunt drinker. This is uh, 96 for right beer again. Beer Advocate's only getting 88. I, I'm. You said it's been aged a year. A year. So, yeah. you know that that probably you know if you were to dive through those reviews, it might be more of them drinking it fresh. Yeah. So it's all drinking it fresh. I, I, I really have to say that this is definitely not an 88. This is definitely for me. This is an A beer. Uh, a quad um, you know West D12 goes into its own category this is a aged quad in a bourbon barrel yep. it's kind of like I have to separate stouts out from the bourbon barrel age whiskey aged stouts because it's just a whole nother category a whole nother world it's, it's not fair to compare it you can't because that that twist that bourbon just puts on these these beers you just can't match it. You can have a really, really good stout that you, and then put it next to a barrel age, and the barrel age kicks its ass. I think you have, to, and I think they probably had to do a good job. I wonder what they're aging it in because, you know, Belgian is a lot sweeter beer, yeah. And 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 they they did it right. I mean, you could really, you know, a stout is something different than this. You don't get that yeastiness and you know sweetness a lot in a stout that you're going to get in a Belgian. There, there's a lot less... This beer can't hide no. from what the barrel's doing to it. The base of this quad 
it's a big beer, don't get me wrong, alcohol-wise and flavor-wise, yeah. but there's a lot less less masking that that base beer can do to what the bourbon barrel conditioning is going to have an effect on it. That's why I think we're saying this is a really good job that they've done on this beer. I'm giving it an A myself, too. It, this is just smooth as hell. Yeah. It, the, any rough edges that this beer had, the extended celery that I put on this nearly a year, and the fact that they did this right at Weyerbacher, and for the price, I paid $7.99 for this bottle of beer. Nice. This is an awesome value. Weyerbacher, if you're out there, just send it to me. That That's just awesome, guys. So, Free. I mean, I'm giving it an A, Johnny's giving it an A, and also, Rate Beer's giving it an A. This is one of the few times that we're agreeing with those fuckers. You know, we're probably part of those fuckers if we're trying to do any beer reviews on their site, which I haven't. I'm on there, but... I've done, like, two. Oh. I, I do all these video reviews for you guys yeah. now. But, so... I do too, hey? Exactly. Uh, but so, we gotta talk about something important now. Do you know what that is, John? Yeah, drink beer. Yeah. We gotta talk about thinking globally. Drinking locally. So Even what? if it's from another state, drink it locally at your house. While we're watching the dogs try to hump each other. Exactly. They're 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 uh, basically circling the maypole over here. Yes. Literally, end of May, last day of May, and they're going around the pole. <laughs> and my dog wants to give the other dog the pole. So, exactly. on that note, thanks a million for watching, guys. We appreciate each and every one of you, and, and that's a big support the craft beer movement because he <laughs> forgot to say that too. Oh, so yeah, do that stuff too. Yeah. Peace, peace out. Peace out.